it's Libby from LibbyStamps.com welcome to another one of my videos on the uh, North American leadership videos in video one Shelley showed how to make um, a card similar to this and I just cased it from what she had done now to make this card you need some of our watercolour paper and it's just the right size for the front of the card and I've just rounded the corners of the paper with our corner rounder all right so what you need to do is just take your piece of card and today I'm using um, three different colors I'm going to start with Blackberry Bliss and I'm using the painted petals uh, photo polymer set from the occasions catalog now I've already mounted a couple of those images and you can see they've been quite well used and they do stain the photo polymers but it doesn't affect the stamping now because on this card I had most of my uh, sentiment and embellishments in the center I've chosen to stamp away from the center and that's what I'm going to do again and I'm just going to pop uh, my stamp and pierce mat underneath still with its plastic on just to give me a little bit more um, cushioning there might stamp off a bit I'm going to stamp here and here and it doesn't really matter about whether the image is clear or not because we're going to use our spritzer and uh, just spritz that lightly to give this re-inka water colour look all right so I'm going to take my spritzer and it's just filled with plain water and I'm going to hold my card and just spritz from a bit of a distance and you can choose how much or how little you want to spritz and then you need to let that dry you can let it run as much as you want and then you need to let it dry between stamped images that's basically dry and this time I'm going to ink up with um, soft sky and I'm going to go either side of those flowers I did before like so it's a very mooted effect and that way and I might do a few more around my card No two cards are ever the same, are they? All right, so that'll do for the soft sky, I think. And then again with the spritzer, this time you can be a little gentler, so not quite as much. So you need a bit of distance. So that's dried and it still doesn't look like much. I'm just going to round these corners and then I'm going to get the leaves which we're not going to um, spritz so I've just used my project life corner rounder on that and this time I'm using pear pizzazz with the leaf I'm going to sort of line my leaves up so I get a bit of a different effect all right so that's how I want my leaves and then pop them pop some ink on them 
and stamp down. And I'm going to do that in several places around the card so they look like leaves from a plant. All right, so really the um, that part of the card is finished and I'm just going to stamp it. I might do this one in soft sky just so it's a little different. Stamp that on there like that and I'm going to use the extra large oval punch to punch that out. So I'll just put a bit of fast fuse so a light a light pull and a clip and a light pull and a tick and that should be about enough and I've got some doilies here that I've had from a previous um, project that I'd cut in half this one's going to be a little different and this time I've got a totally different effect whereby you can see the colours underneath rather than on the outside so there we go there are the two cards i'll just finish this one off all right i decided to change this up a little bit and i'm putting the linen thread in the center and i've just decided to have two little triangles of um, the doily and I've gone with it like that and you can fiddle around with the linen thread once it's on all right and then we've got our card so there are the two different cards all right so thanks for stopping by today hope to see you again soon take care bye for now if you want to play, make it about a place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us see inside your mind